One day, a deer was born. His name was Bambi. Bambi was curious about everything. He learned he was a deer, and so was his mother. He learned the trails his mother followed were made by other deer. Sometimes on the trail, suddenly his mother would stop to listen for danger. Every day, the three young deer played and chattered. They would race and chase. If you are smart and don't run into danger, said Bambi's mother to her son, someday you will grow up as big and handsome as your father. After that, t- <laughs> After that terrible day, Bambi felt lost. He wandered about. Was sad. How, <laughs> how could this awful thing have happened? Suddenly, the great old bug stepped out in front of him at the midnight pool. One day, a flock of crows <laughs> flew overhead, yelling loudly, Cock! <laughs> The geese also screamed in the sky, Cock! <laughs> They warned a last little springs of fresh green grass. One day we can go both there and it's found. Gobo told his story. I was with a human. I have seen a lot more than the rest of you altogether. Dogs had found him when we lay in the snow and they barked. The human came and carried Gobo to. One day Gobo and Bambi were together. They smelled the scent of a human. We must hide at once, said Bambi. No need for that, said Gobo. The humans know me. Then all at once, a sharp bang, and Gobo fell down. The old bug told Bambi to follow him. Each one was burned, some almost to the ground, others burned mostly on the roof. The village was empty. Fire burns the woods where we live, and it burns the villages of humans too, said Bambi. We are not some so different from humans. Can't you stay by yourselves? said Bambi. The little Bambi decided to go back down to the old trails. The little brother and sister were too much in awe of the great buck to answer. Bambi thought, this little feather, fe- fellow pleases me. Bambi and his mother was reunited once more.